dollars, which is roughly about 150 billion uh, pesos, or 15 billion pesos per annum in the next uh, 10 years, why not uh, do a financial engineering, pre-terminate, refinance the whole thing, and reduce our cost by so much uh, that reduction, Madam Chair, Mr. Secretary, can already finance your uh, power development program for the entire 10 years. That is how much the IPPs are costing us. Has, uh, has the DOE looked at this very seriously in tandem with the Department of Finance? Because that is normal, you know, that's what you call restructuring. Indeed, Madam Chair, uh, we have been looking at that and uh, we continue to look at that. The answer, Madam Chair, is that uh, that's why we have the concept of uh, IPP administrators. The administrators are the ones who are supposed to take over the unexpired portion of the IPPAs. The uh, IPPs that are unexpired. Now, we, we just had a bidding last uh, about a week ago on the first time. So, Alan Pagbilao. And it was a successful bidding. So uh, right now, the unexpired portion of the IPPs are taken over by the private sector. So they, they manage it, including the fuel management, Madam Chair. And would that translate into lower rates? Well, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the economy here and the different thing is something like this, Madam Chair. When we privatize our assets, our power generating plants, we try to get the highest price for them. No? Uh, in other words, we want to maximize. Okay, so we are selling this plant. Sabi natin, highest bid there. So we are happy and we clap whenever we get a high enough amount for it. But of course, we know that when a corporation pays with an arm and a leg for a, an asset, he has to recover that. And of course we know that uh, eventually the public will pay for it. And so the higher you get from your privatization, the higher the charge that they make on the consumers. So that's the dilemma that we're faced with. So the question of uh, is this going to result in lower power costs, it's always a trade-off, uh, Thank you. Well, uh, I'm happy that the deal finally looking into this uh, the possibility of determining this IPP so that we can, instead of paying $3.5 billion in the next uh, 10 years, which is more than 150 billion pesos to 15 billion, 15 billion pesos per annum, maybe we can reduce this very significantly. I hope that uh, by plenary time, uh, here, we will have something more definitive so that in the interpolation, we can ask uh, the DOE what would be the status of this. Now, I notice also that you have this initiative of nuclear energy in your presentation, the creation of an interagency core group for the study of nuclear power. We'd like to inform the Secretary that the question of nuclear energy is quite a hot, hot topic here in the House. There's a lot of uh, resistance coming from some members and uh, it's going through some rough sailing. I don't know whether it will see the light of day before the end of uh, this Congress. But just to ask the Secretary, in your study, what is your provision for nuclear waste? Because right now in the U.S., they have canceled uh, the original plan to deposit the waste somewhere in the Yucca Mountains. Uh, but here in the Philippines, what is your proposal on how to handle nuclear waste? Um, Madam Chair, I, I attended a uh, conference in China regarding nuclear power, and uh, we did invite a uh, a uh, experts group from the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, to the Philippines. It was composed of about eight people, headed by a Japanese, a uh, South American, a European team of experts, and then you, you're correct. Uh, distinguished gentleman from Paranyame, we did create a uh, core group to, to uh, form the uh, nucleus of the group that will study this matter more, more intensively and extensively. It is composed of people from DOE, NPC, the International uh, um, 
National Nuclear, Nuclear Research Institute, Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. Now, the, you're correct, it's a uh, hot issue, not only in this chamber, but uh, also in areas, particularly where we intend to cite this nuclear power, because the common uh, thing going around is that uh, people are in favor of nuclear power as long as it is not in their backyard. Uh, you want nuclear power, you, you want to sleep with it, go ahead, but uh, not in my backyard. So citing is very, very important. Now what is my position, or what is the DOE's position in this? First, uh, the, the policy is always uh, no renewables. No? And I have stated this often enough. Number one, we go renewables because uh, that is our distinctive comparative advantage. We could be the Saudi Arabia in so far as renewable energy is concerned. We are natural for renewable energy. As, as we had explained earlier, renewable energy can generate up to 200,000 megawatts of power just on, on, on renewable energy, and that's a very, very conservative estimate. So, go renewables. I consider the uh, use of uh, conventional or fossil fuels, these hydrocarbon derivatives, as transition fuels. And when we say transition fuels, it is the fuels that will bridge us and tide us over until the renewable energy shall finally kick in. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to they, they are not. I'm sorry to interrupt, but my question is on nuclear waste. Correct. I'm going to that. Yes, but uh, can we have that answer now? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's very important in our no, the, the, I, 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 I'm trying to discuss the entire thing because, uh, okay, you, nuclear waste. Conventional fuel is a transition fuel, and so with nuclear. But we are not even into it yet. We were supposed to be in it as early as 1987, but we decided to not hold that plant that cost us $2.3 billion. It could have generated for us 620 megawatts of power for 20 years up to last year. But we finished paying it without generating a single kilowatt. Now, the problem associated, the two problems, principal problems associated with nuclear power would be first, safety. Safety. People are uh, still worried about the, the, the thoughts of Chernobyl or, uh, or uh, what happened in New York or Three Mile Island. Um, number two is disposal of waste. Now, up to now, the experts, even the experts, are not agreed on the best way on how to dispose of nuclear waste. In the Philippines, a particular 